Okay, today we're going to do a demonstration for you on a Chevalier three-axis surface grinder. This is a model FSG 3A818, uh, chuck size being 818. Now it's hydraulic. We actually have it running right now. It's very quiet. Uh, we have, uh, of course, the electronic magnet and your magnet controls over here to increase or decrease your magnetism or to uh, demag or to turn it on. And as the safety of the machine, the hydraulically will not start up unless we have this magnet on. So we got a lot of buttons and switches and lights here. They all have meaning. Uh, in, the, in the pure manual mode, uh, you could work this machine by hand. All the hand wheels can be turned by hand, the table left, right, and the, the column in and out, and the saddle, I mean. We also have a rapid up and a rapid down to help you get closer to your workpiece. Uh, same with the cross slide. We have a in and an out. Uh, so whenever we want to start something on here, you get the cycle start light that's blinking. And when you set that, then we have it set now uh, for the cross feed to work. So all I would have to do now is to, to give a little speed to the table here and we'll start to move. Now at this point you could feed down by hand. You also have a fine feed knob here so you can feed this down fine by hand if you didn't want to use the automatic down feed function of the machine. When you do want to use the automatic function, you're going to switch it to automatic over here. And as soon as we do that, we get the blinking light again, which tells me I've, I've changed the mode. I've got to uh, let, let it recognize that. So we hit that again. Now you notice I have a three in here. That three is put in there by this switch here. Well, there you go. Each time we reverse the table or the saddle, and it makes contact with the switches that are mounted on the left side here, the dogs, we will feed three times right here. Now, each one of those feed pulses is, can be set to either 50 millionths or one-tenth. That being done with this knob down here. So it's slowly and, and going to quickly work its way to zero. And once it does get to zero, you'll see the spark out light come on. And the feed will stop. There you go. It only got to two pulses because it knew it was at, at zero. So now we're doing our empty passes, which is our spark out passes, which I have programmed in here in number two. So that means it'll go there and back, there and back uh, two times. And at that point, depending on how much you have this retraction uh, potentiometer set, your hand wheel will automatically back up your wheel off your workpiece. So for your next part, you have to know that you want to shut this off because everything has shut off now. The spindle has shut off and the coolant has shut off. Uh, and as a safety, they want you to put this off. So now I'm going to start everything again. Now my spindle is running and my hydraulics. Okay. So we still have the three. So now you would have to physically come down and touch your workpiece and you set with the hand wheel how much you want it to feed off, you know, how many, 10 thousandths, 20 thousandths at your uh, incremental amount and how many times it increments each time. But ultimately you make your zero setting here at the dial, all your adjustments. So that was your surface grinding. It also has a slot grinding or plunge grinding mode. See, as soon as we switch from one mode to the other, we get our light blinking. Well, now when I start this up, we won't have any cross feed but every time we do three. I could change this to four. And this will work its way down to zero. I'm going to help it. And when it gets to zero, which is going to be when that light comes on, there you go, zero. Now we're going to do our empty spark out passes and we retract back up. So there you have it. That's the Chevalier 3A818 hydraulic surface grinder. Cooling system on the side. Machine is currently wired for 220 volts, three phase. 
Uh, really nice, really quiet. Come on down. Thank you.